In this video, we are going to see how to create Google tasks for new Google Form responses. So let's say that you're using Google Form as a form builder application where every time a new response has been received. So with this information, you want to create a task in Google task. Now for this, you will have to set up some integration between the two applications and the same thing can be done using Pabli Connect software. Here your trigger application would be Google Forms and your action application would be Google Task. Now how can you do this yourself? Integrate and automate this entire process. To understand that, let me take you to my screen. To begin with the process, we are first going to type the URL pavli.com slash connect and as we do that here we have reached the landing page of this software. On the right hand side, we can see two options, sign in and sign up for free. So if you are an existing user, simply sign in. If you are a new user, click on this tab, sign up. It won't take more than two minutes. And also at the time of account creation, you will get 100 free tasks. So now I'm going to click on sign in. As I do that here, we have reached all applications page. Let's click on access now for Pabli Connect. And here we have reached the dashboard of this application. On the right hand side, we can see a tab create workflow. Let's click on this. And a dialog box has appeared which is asking us to name this workflow. Now here my objective is that every time a form is filled and here I have taken the form builder application as Google form. So every time we receive a new response, then with the information received, we should be able to create a Google task. So I'm going to name it as create Google task for new Google form responses. Let's click on create. As we do that here, we have reached another window, which has got two extremely important events. One is trigger. Another one is action. Triggers and actions are basically those two principles or concepts on which this entire automation works. Trigger this when this happens. Action is do this. Basically, action is the response of our trigger application. Now, as per this integration, my trigger application would be Google Forms. Let's click on this. And now the trigger event. So this is the event that will make my workflow run. So it would be new response received. Here you can see that it is written that this trigger will instantly capture new incoming data and the workflow execution will start in real time, which means that it has got no polling time. Here we have received a webhook URL, which is going to act as a bridge for connecting Pabli Connect and Google Forms. I'm going to copy this and now we are supposed to follow the following steps. So please read this carefully and now I'm going to show you what we have to do. So first we have to go to our Google Forms. So this is my Google Form that I already have created. The name is Task Details, New Task. And here I have the following fields, Task Name, Notes, then I've got task list. So these are the lists which are already there in my Google task. And I just want to associate my new task in one of my list. And then we have got the due date. So the last field that we have here, so we can see a field required. I'm going to toggle this towards the right, which basically means that this is now turn on. So as soon as the person fills up this form and this last field is filled, then automatically the response would be received. Now we have to go to responses. And then we have got these three dots as I click on this. So we have to select the response destination. Here we have got two options, create a new spreadsheet and select existing spreadsheet. So I'm going to select create a new spreadsheet and then click on create. So here we can see that it has been linked to a spreadsheet. Now I'm going to click on this sheet icon. And here we can see that a sheet has been created with the following fields. So we have got all the fields that were a part of my Google form. I'm just going to format this so that it is clearly visible to you. So we have got the task name, notes, task list, due date. And here we also have another field which is timestamp. This is going to register the date and time of the data received. Now, what we have to do is we have to go back to our Google form and here we are going to preview. So now I'm going to fill up this form. Let's say the name of the task is new task one, two, three, and then we have the notes. So I'm just going to write demo notes here. You can fill in the description. Now, what is the task list? It is my task and then the due date. So let's say the due date is 25th of January. I'm going to click on submit. As I do that here, let's go to the Google sheet and you can see that the information has been received here. Now to connect the sheet with Pabli Connect, I'm going to click on extensions, go to add ons, get add ons. And here we have reached the Google Workspace Marketplace. Let's look for Pabli Connect webhooks. 
this is the application and you can see that it has already been installed on my system now you have to install it it is a mandate step and then you have to close this window refresh the page this is absolutely important and once we have refreshed it we are going to wait for a few seconds and then we are going to go back to extensions and you would be able to see pably connect webhooks here we are going to go to initial setup here you can see another window has appeared and it has already selected the name of the sheet. Now this webhook URL that we had received here, I'm going to copy this, go back to the sheet and paste this over here. Now the trigger column. So the trigger column is the final data column where the data has been added. And for us, this is E. So I'm going to write E and now click on send test. So as I do that, here you can see that the test data has been sent successfully and now let's click on submit and we can see that our configuration is all set. Let's close this window, go back to extensions, public connect webhooks. Here you can see send on event, click on this. This is absolutely important so that every time the workflow runs, we can receive the response. Now I'm going to take you back to public connect to see if we have received the API response and yes, here it is. This here is the trigger column, timestamp, task name, task list. This is the name of the split sheet ID, sheet name, sheet ID. Then we have the row index and we have got notes and due date. Once we have received this information, I'm going to choose my action application as Google task as I wish to create a task here. Let's click on this. And the action event here would be to create a task. Let's click on connect here. Public Connect is asking to connect itself with the Google task account. Let's click on add new connection, then sign in with Google. Here we have to select the account. So once done, we have to provide the access. This is absolutely secure. I'm going to click on allow. As I do that here, we can see that the authorization has been successful, which basically means that Public Connect is now connected with Google task. Now we are supposed to map this information. So I'm going to map this and first I'm going to delete. And now as I go to Google form, this is the name of my task list. Then we have the task title. So how, how am I going to map this again? As I click on this, this is going to show me the previous step. And this here is the name of the task. Then the notes, basically the description, demo notes. Then we have the due date. So we are supposed to provide the due date in this particular format, but the date that we have received is in a different format. So now I'm going to add an action application over here, which is actually a feature by Pabli date time formatter. Let's click on this. The action event here would be to format date with time zone. Let's click on connect and here the date first we have to map so this here is the date now what is the format that it is in so it is in day month day and year format so this is month day and year format now which format do we want it in so we want it in this format and now the time zone so i'm going to select utc okay and again two time zone is again utc so once done, let's click on save and send test request. And here we have received the date. Once done, I'm going to go back to Google Tasks, refresh the connection by selecting the existing connection. And now here I'm going to fill in the due date. This here is the due date. So once done, I'm going to click on save and send test request. And here you can see that we have received the response, which basically means that now a task should be created in Google task. So I'm going to take you to my Google task now. And yes, here you can see that a task has been created, which basically means that this integration process is a success. But we also need to check this in real. So I'm going to take you back to the Google form, submit another response. Let's say the task name is dummy task. Then we have the notes. So this is dummy description. And then we have the task list. Again, it is my task. And then we have the due date. So the due date here, let's say it is 31st of January. Let's click on submit. So once this is done, what should happen? Automatically, a task should be created in Google task. So I'm going to take you to my Google task account. And yes, here you can see that dummy task has been created which basically means that our integration is perfect. 
Now I'm going to take you back to Pabli Connect to understand what we have done. So here our trigger application is Google Forms where the event is news response received. Our action application was Google task where the event was to create a task and we had chosen an action application which is a feature by Pabli named as date time formatter and here we had format the date along with the time. I hope this is absolutely clear to you. If in case you have any doubt, you can refer to the workflow which is given in the video description. You can also clone the same and start to process immediately. Apart from this, if you have any specific integration to work on, you can always write to us. Not only this, but you can integrate multiple applications using Pabli Connect software. To ask any of your query, you have to write at forum.pabli.com. You can also visit our website which is www.pabli.com slash connect. To get all the details about the latest updates, the integrations and applications, you can visit our Facebook group. If in case you have found this video helpful, then do not forget to share this with your friends and colleagues so that they can also get into automation and make their life easy. I'm going to see you very soon with different integrations and automations. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe. Take care of yourself.